All right, guys, back in the garage. We're working on my track bar a little bit. So what we got going on here is I'm trying to do some upgrades here. So I already got an aftermarket track bar bracket on here. Had it for a couple years. No signs of the cracks or wear, so it seems good enough quality. But ran into an issue. This bolt, it sheared off. It's the bolt that goes to the underneath side of the frame. You got two bolts here. And you actually have two studs that come in from the back side. It's the bolts I'm trying to match up. So these two go up on top of there. So they come in through the back side and poke through like that. And you got two nuts uh, that sandwich the bracket between the frame. So my plan is to get rid of that and replace them with some grade eight bolts. And I got this bolt and I actually repurposed one of the old nuts that went from here and I welded onto the stud in order to get the bolts out, which I'm glad I did because now I can reuse that hole. And there's a stationary nut up there still welded to the frame. And um, you got this bolt right here that goes to the hole in the back that hangs out underneath the motor mount. So that one came out with no problem, but as you can see, it's not a nut, it's just a round washer looking thing, screws into that. So, um, I did get some bolts that I'm gonna put on here. Uh, hopefully they're the right size. All right, did some shopping yesterday, went to Home Depot. Uh, they didn't have much in stock, so I tried to hodgepodge together what I could. So if you're wondering what the thread pitch is on the stock bolts, they are an M12 by 1.75. So they did have some of those, but they didn't have them in grade eight metric. Uh, they had um, M12 uh, by 1.75 metric in grade five, but they didn't have all the bolts that I needed. So this is the closest I can come up with. Um, they are slightly bigger in diameter. Not not by much though, so hopefully it'll just go right through. But if, worst case, I'll just uh, drill a hole out in the frame a little bit. So um, yeah, let's let's get to it. Okay, so I think it's gonna be easier if I start with putting one of the bolts in from the bottom side. All right, get it lined up. Get through. Oh shit. Don't lose your bolt. Got a washer on this side. Get your other washer if it can fit. We'll go in. Yep. Lock washer. And then last but not least, your nut. Kind of get a finger tight for now. Give you more wiggle room later. There you go. New bolt versus old bolt. Two inch versus one inch, I think. Reuse this washer. I decided to turn the bolts around. I think it looks a lot neater that way. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side because I might get rid of these pucks later on and I don't want it interfering with the spring because this bracket makes a lot of noise as it is. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Get it loose. Shouldn't be too hard. All right, get her nice and tight. There we go. Now the other bolt. All right, another thing I didn't put into consideration is that That nut on the top in the front there, 
that does not come off. So if you wanted to, you can cut it off and uh, start from scratch. But the thing is, it's attached to the motor mount and it's really hard to get in there. So I'm just gonna keep it like it is. Uh, I got, I'm running the stock bolt in there, but I matched the thread size. So I got me a grade five bolt to go in there and it should work. And I don't see any signs of a uh, stress cracks or anything like that. So I think I'm just gonna leave it like it is. Maybe take this out. When I checked on this last, all four bolts were loose, which I think is the reason why uh, that last bolt sheared off in the first place. Plus, you know, a few years of bump steer and death wobble. I did fix the death wobble, but I never fixed the bolt. And today I'm getting it fixed. The cause of my death wobble was uh, the track bar was off angle. It wasn't lining up with the drag link. That was really all there was to it. But I bought a kit. It came with this and the track bar. So I rocked the track bar for the time being. And over time, the ball joint that came on the track bar uh, wore out, which caused, you know, part of my death wobble. And also, my lip has gotten higher over the years. So that track bar wasn't gonna work anymore, so I have one custom made. But I did keep the bracket, however. Bracket's still good. I might end up welding it to the frame, actually, sometime in the future. So far, so good. In case you guys are wondering what the size is, it is a M12 by 1.75. I believe I have gone over that earlier in the video, but just to clarify. Get nice and tight. I'm gonna wanna torque it to about snug foot pounds. One more. All right. do it. There you have it guys. Finished product. Looks pretty good. I would have put a washer on that last bolt, but Home Depot didn't have any washers. So I decided to improvise and do without. But yeah, that was a quick fix. I noticed it steers a lot better too with the new bolts in there. So all right, well, it's a DIY upgrade, job well done.